Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to our brand new Roblox Studio video. My name is Floppy and in today's video I'll be showing you how to scale your in-game GUI to fit each player's screen correctly. Many of you know I have already created a GUI scaling video, and yes, that's right. But in the comments of that video, many people told me the video was way too long and there was no way they would watch a 40 minute video just to learn how to scale their GUI. So I'm here to give it another go. And what better way to do it by doing a challenge? Now in today's video, I will attempt to show you how to scale buttons, frames and scrolling frames in under four minutes, which is a tenth of the time compared to my previous scaling video. So for me to be able to do this, I'm going to have to keep it short and sweet, which is not something I often do, but I'm willing to take on the challenge. If I do speak a little too fast and you would like a more detailed, slower paced tutorial, by all means, feel free to check out the other video in the description. Well, without further ado, let's begin. So for starters, we want to make sure that we've got our auto scale light plugin. The link to the plugin will be down in the description. You want to go and install that and then install it here on your studio. We then want to head over to our starter GUI, click on the plus button, and now you want to insert your, uh, your GUI that you're going to be working with. For starters, we're going to be starting off with a text button. This will work with an image button, any of these buttons, text labels, blah, dee, yah, yah, or work with anything that is not inside of a frame. So we're going to be starting with a button frame, then go move up to the scrolling frame. So with our button here now, we're going to move it to the center of the screen. I'm now going to go change the anchor point to 0 0.5, 0 0.5, we'll move it over there. That basically moves the little square thing from over there to the middle. So now we've got it in the middle. Now what we're gonna go do, we're gonna head over to our plugins. We're gonna leave our button just like that because I don't have time to customize it. Unit conversion, scale on the uh, size and scale on position. Then make sure that your text button is highlighted. Then add a constraint into your text button. And just like that, if we go and move and minimize down our screen, our text button will scale. Now to scale the text, all we go do, we go to the properties here, and then we go and enable text scaled. So now whenever this, this um, screen moves around, the text scales that is inside of the text button. To check it out even better, we can check it out here on an iPhone 14 Pro, iPhone 4S, etc. And you can see it is all scaled correctly and it is on our left side of our screen. Now let's move on to the frame. So that is our text button done and dusted. Let's go and insert a frame. We're just going to make a simple game pass shot here. And this is just going to be holding our game passes. So I'm going to go insert two text buttons here. I'm going to go and change the background color to a green so we can easily see them. Duplicate them just like that. There we go. And uh, that will do the trick there. There's our buttons, etc. Actually, we'll get four in here. There we go. There is our text buttons. We grab all of these. We Hold on, before we do that, we want to go over to your frame. You want to go to your anchor point, change the anchor point to uh, 0 0.5 comma 0 0.5. That will move it there. You just drag it straight back, put it in the middle. The anchor point is basically where the um, it, where it's going to size into. If your anchor point is zero, it's going to size up to there. If it's your anchor point is one, it's going to size up to there. That's where I have it 0.5, so it kind of goes all towards the middle. Anyway, that's our anchor point done. You don't need to go and change the anchor point anywhere else. Grab the text button and, well, customize it, obviously. Grab your frame and every single thing that is inside of your text buttons, your frame, etc. Except your screen GUI, your frame, and your text buttons. Size on the scale and then size on position. Then grab your frame, only select your frame, add constraint. And now if we go and move our GUI, you're able to see this frame scales correctly. And you do the exact same thing with the text buttons, with the text scale to make sure that your, scale, uh, your text does get scaled correctly. We tried it here on an iPhone or Samsung here, scale correctly iPhone 14 Pro, it is all scaled correctly, and that is your Game Pass shop done. Now, that is our frames done. We're going to move over to a scrolling frame. So I'm going to insert a frame. We're going to go over the whole screen here. I'm going to change the end point to 0 0.5, um, comma 0 0.5, just like that. Move that back right there. Then we're going to insert a, uh, we'll change the background transparency here to 1. We'll insert another frame, and this is going to be our decorative frame that is holding our scrolling frame. We'll just put it like that. We go and insert a scrolling frame. We go and move the scrolling frame here. I'm going to change the background color so we can easily see it. We'll just put it at that color. I'm really just moving around here. We're, we're, we're in a way rushing it because I've only got four minutes. We've got our scrolling frame here. You go and customize and you put your text label and your buttons and all of the hubba jubba anywhere else. But this scrolling frame is just going to be holding our text buttons. So I'm going to insert three text buttons. I'm then going to click on the plus button and insert a UI grid layout that's going to separate the buttons nicely. You can go and adjust it here in the UI grid layout with the cell size and the cell padding. Make sure you never have any digits on the offset. So all of these offsets you want to go and change to zero, zero, 
um, and then over here zero again and then same with the X we change that to zero and this cell size is basically the size of your current parts so for example we could change this to one and then we could change the uh, the Y also to maybe one like that and you can see it is quite a large um, uh, space there so you, we, we will sketch down let's go and put to a point one scale it down there nicely and you can see they're all in a bit of a layout and we'll go and change the X here to let's go 0.1 also and now we've got our small buttons now with the cell padding that basically creates the gap between the buttons so we go and change this here on the X we'll go and do 0. Point, uh, let's go 0. 0.5 that will create oh maybe that's a bit too much uh, let's go 0. Point, let's go 0. 0.01 there we go that creates it there and then the Y is kind of the the bottom part here so if there's any other other digits below here that will vary like if there's another row that the gap between these buttons and their bottoms right there so you would usually go put this to the same but for this tutorial I'm just gonna go and do 0 0.01 exactly what we have but we're gonna see no difference simply because there isn't enough buttons but I'm just gonna go and duplicate those and there you can see it creates a nice bit of a gap there but you go and adjust it to how you would like we've got our three buttons we go and grab our frame uh, our other frame here, our scrolling for actually we grab everything, we grab everything, go over to our unit conversion, size on the scale, size on the position, and then we go grab our frame here, plugins, add constraint, same thing here with this other frame, add constraint, scrolling frame, add constraint, so all these frames need their constraints, and obviously you only need to go and change the anchor point here in your screen GUI because that is what contro is controlling your scrolling frame. Now if we go and move our frame, you're able to see oh, the only problem is, is the text button. So what we can do is go grab these text buttons, text scaled. And now when we go and move our GUI, you will be able to see that our scrolling frame is scaled correctly. If we go and test it out here in the device, you're able to see it is scaled correctly. If we go test out here, obviously I think your cell padding needs to be slightly different, but you can see the cell padding is pretty much the same. I shouldn't affect it too much, but there again, it really depends on your preference of how big you want the gap between your different buttons. But no matter what device we're on, it is gonna scale correctly and you can move around, really do whatever. And just like that, your scrolling frame is scaled. We've scaled a individual button, a frame, and a scrolling frame in hopefully under four minutes. I have just checked the recording and it took us a total time of just over six minutes. Two minutes longer than we aimed for, but even though we failed the challenge, we still managed to scale all three GUI in a much shorter time. So if you think I did a good job, let me know down in the comments. And if you would like to see some more fast paced videos like these, let me know down in the comments and uh, I'll consider it. But anyway, if you guys are new to the channel and you did enjoy today's video, do consider subscribing to the channel turning on the notification bell, and also do consider liking the video. I'd really appreciate it. But anyway, you guys have an amazing rest of your day. I wish you all the best of luck with your GUI scaling. And if you do have any issues, please do feel free to contact us on Discord, and we can happily help you out. But anyway, have an amazing rest of your day, and I'll see everyone in the next Roblox Studio video.